Dennis, you gotta give me more info on this guy, otherwise I got no idea what to buy him. <sighs> Just get him something. Bowling ball, aftershave, tennis racket. Tennis, it's a wedding present. It's supposed to be for the groom and the bride. Oh, bummer. We could check and see if he's registered. Registered? Registered for what? For the wedding. That's when you go into an expensive store, and you pick out all the cool stuff you want, and then somebody else goes in and buys it for you. I'll just bring something to the bachelor party. So who is this Tony D'Angelo guy anyway? Is he like your best friend from high school or what? <laughs> no, actually, Reggie Mitchell's my best friend. But this guy, Tony, though, this guy's a real hustler. <laughs> this guy could get you anything, man. He could get you fast cars, concert tickets, anything. I know the type. I usually wind up dating him. Then he'd go to jail, story of my life. <laughs> so, what's this Tony guy doing now? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him for years. He's not in jail, so I guess he must have settled down. Just thinking one more week it'll be Mr. and Mrs. D'Angelo. I can't wait. I love you. I love you too. Oop, gotta go. People gotta go to Denver. Be careful, darling. Hey, what could go wrong? I'm flying the plane, right? Ciao. Your attention, please. Pacific passenger Gene Whitaker. How you doing? Tony, you're wearing sunglasses inside. Yeah, I know. Let me ask you something. Are those two guys on this flight? Yeah, they bought two tickets. Cash. Cash? All right, what's going on? Nothing, I swear. Is there going to be trouble? Are we going to have to bail from the plane on the slide for life ramp? Hey, how was I to know those two minor birds could get out of their cages? Come here, I got to talk to you. I can't make the flight. You're gonna have to cover for me. Who are they? How much do you owe them? Nothing. They're uh, they're my uncles. There's a social engagement they want me to attend, and I'm kind of avoiding it. Just cover for me. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure everybody in first class will get their magazines. And hey, don't forget the hot towels. Just get out of here. I mean, what could go wrong? It's not like you're flying a plane or anything. Thanks.
How have you been, man? I've been good. I've been good. You sound great. Thanks, man. You know I'm writing my own stuff now. Really? They let me squeeze them in in between the standards. This place, you on stage, it's always been your dream, hasn't it? I didn't know how much work it was going to be, but... But you're happy, though, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Did you get an invite to Tony's wedding? Yeah. You know, I can't believe that guy's getting married. I mean, you. Now, you I can see settling down, but that guy, that guy lived to play the field. That's kind of the reason I called you. Tony's in a little bit of trouble. Tony was always in trouble. No, this is like real trouble. Like guys with guns. Great. Hi, guys. How long you been under there? Two songs. Ah, <sighs> someone come into the club kind of spooked me a little. Dennis, thanks for coming. Tony, good to see you, man. Good to see you. I hear you're on the lamb. Nah, just having a little bit of a problem trying to break off my engagement. Yeah, so what do you need me for? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's always hard to explain to this guy, isn't it? <laughs> well, see, Gina's a nice girl. I really love her and everything, and... And? Well, I kind of wanted to marry her because I saw it as a way to secure my future. So you wanted to marry her for her money. Good to see you change, Tony. Hey, you can marry more money in a minute than you can make in a lifetime. He's a real philosopher, isn't he? Wait, it gets better. Yeah, you see, uh, her family has a lot of money. They're in the medical waste removal business. Wait a second, wait a second. Isn't that a kind of a mob-related type of business? They're looking for safe and economically reasonable alternatives in answer to the public's ecological concerns. So what you're saying is you want to break your engagement with a mafia princess? <laughs> yeah. So what do you need me for? Why don't you just go tell her? I can't. It would break her heart. <laughs> I think she's going to figure it out when there's no one standing next to her at the altar. Please, just do me a favor. Go talk to her father. Her father? Yeah, Carmine Marino. Guys named Carmine are always trouble. Good point. <laughs> Please, just go talk to him. Tell him, uh, tell him the truth. Tell him I'm dying of a rare bone disease and I wouldn't want to risk exposing his daughter. I'll think of something, all right? Oh, good, you're here. I want to talk to you about the roses. I know we said red and white, but I was thinking maybe pink. Oh, I, I'm not the flower man. Oh, are you here about the cake? No, actually, I came here to see Carmine Marino. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. No, you were a business associate. Um, hi. Hey. I'm Gina Marino. Dennis Booker, how you doing? Dennis Booker. It sounds very familiar. What do you do? Security. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Papa gets really paranoid at these big functions. I'm sure there won't be any trouble. Well, I hope so, too. Hi, uh, I'm Dennis Booker. I know who you are. And I know why you're here. What I don't know is, where's Tony D'Angelo? Well, to be quite honest, I think he's a little scared of meeting you here face to face after what happened at the airport. I don't know what there's to be uh, afraid of. I'm just a businessman. Eddie and Tommy were just trying to relay a message for me. Well, maybe I can give it to him. Hey, maybe you could. You tell him that my daughter, Gina, means more to me than anything. And I mean anything in this world. And all I want is for her to be happy. You understand that? She loves Tony D'Angelo. Why? I don't know. Personally, I think he's a little pisher. Do you understand pisher? Yeah, I, I think I do. He's a bit of a con man. He goes around telling people he's an airplane pilot. Well, what does he do? He's a stewardess. Hands out drinks on the airplane, honey roasted nuts. I thought you said you knew this guy. Well, I, I just think he's concerned about his future. Well, I'm concerned about my future. In three days, I got 600 people coming to a wedding. I got caterers, I got the archbishop. I got ice sculptures. What I don't have is a bridegroom. Well, I think he's having second thoughts. Well, uh, you got two choices. You could either have a married friend or a dead friend. Are you threatening Mr. D'Angelo? Absolutely, absolutely not. 
Let's just say it'd be horrible if he had an accident, say, uh, fell off his balcony. It'd be terrible for Gina, don't you think? Trust me, she'll get over it. Better a sudden death than a broken heart. I'll pass the word. Good. You do that. Oh, oh, and by the way, tell your friend, I don't want Gina ever to know about Twink. Twink? Tony? 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 Oh. Oh, good, you're back. Uh, how was your meeting? Yeah, let's talk outside. No, please, double check on the flowers and make sure that there's enough champagne. Uh, no, that'll be it. Thank you. Wedding plans, geez. Uh, I think everybody should just elope to Las Vegas and save the money. You could live for a year on what some of these weddings cost. Who are you? Dennis Booker. You wouldn't happen to be Twink, would you? Yes, hmm. Twink Towers. Are you a friend of Tony's? I used to be. Can you excuse us for a moment? Captain D'Angelo, come here. So, uh, what did you and Carmine talk about? Honey roasted nuts. You left out a little bit of detail, don't you think, Tony? Like what? Like Twink. Does Carmine know about Twink? Well, it seems like everybody knows about Twink except me. Look, I love Gina, but I really love Twink, too. That's why I asked her to marry me. Wait a second. You're engaged to both Gina and Twink? Ain't life a bitch. Now, what about her family? Are they gonna try to kill you, too? Hey, don't worry about her family. She's from Iowa. All she has is a brother, and I think he's a priest or something. Hello? Yes, this is Reverend Towers. Well, thank you very much for calling. My sister Twink and I are very close, and I wouldn't want anything to stand in the way of her happiness. You. Tony, will you knock that off? You're in enough trouble already. You guys got me all wrong. You know, you're acting like this is my fault. Oh, and it isn't? No. Simply a matter of me using my God-given talent to the best of my ability. Whoa. You lost me on that one. OK, look, Reg, you were born with a certain amount of musical talent, right? Over the years, you've honed that talent, refined it. So? So Dennis here is good at figuring things out. Good with the uh, gun stuff, so he becomes a peon. But me, I'm only good at one thing. I have one talent, making women happy. Oh, I could think of worse things. I'm a tragic figure, being punished for practicing my one true skill. It's not a skill, man, it's a sickness. Well, there's an angle. I wonder if Geraldo's done a show on that yet. Now, you guys, you gotta admit, this is fascinating, in a sleazy kind of way. <laughs> I rest my case. But the difference is you and Suzanne aren't engaged. Give me two, maybe three weeks tops. The solution to your problem is simple. Pick one of the women. Just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy. OK, you guys, look, I can help you on this. We'll make a list, the pros and cons of your two fiancés. Pros first, Gina, money. Summer home, China service for 50, money. Entree into long-standing family business. 
Domestic nature. Did I mention money? Twice. Good. Okay, twink, pros. Coupons. Ability to sneak into other people's summer homes. Complete set of Flintstone jelly glasses. Menus from all the best takeout restaurants in town. And she never gets a headache. <laughs> Together, the two of them sound like a pretty good combination. Hey, I found the key to man's happiness, and I'm being punished for it. Tony, <laughs> you just got to tell one of the women no. But see, they have this way of looking at me. I mean, when I hold them in my arms, they, they gaze up into my eyes, and they say, Tony, you're the best. And I really love you. I'm serious. I mean, when they say that, I just can't resist them, either of them. Now, how am I supposed to choose? What about the cons, Suzanne? Shorter list. Gina, dump her, die, end of list. It tips the scales, don't it? Tony, you're gonna have to make a choice. Yeah, I guess you're right. What you got there is the Davy Crockett Jr. squirrel gun. An excellent uh, first-time rifle. Comes complete with a two-year gun association membership for all members of the family eight years of age and under. <laughs> uh, do you have anything uh, bigger? Reverend Towers, meet the Widowmaker. I'll take it. So, you going hunting? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. Twink, there's something we need to talk about. You know what's great about you, Twink? How much you like surprises. Twink, what would you say if I told you I only have six months to live? Tony, I've got a surprise. What are those? Bride and groom pinatas. I figure we can fill them with tiny bottles of liquor and let the guests go at them after the ceremony. You're really looking forward to this wedding, aren't you? Hey, wouldn't you be? Yeah, I guess. What's the matter? Twink, I've got to talk to you about something. Yeah, I knew eventually you would. You're kidding me. Tony, I know you better than you know yourself. We work together, remember? Yeah, yeah. I know what your life was like before you met me. Hell, I know what your life's been like since you met me. OK. You want to confess to me, don't you? Well, yeah. You want to tell me about your past. <laughs> well, you got me on that one. You feel the urge to tell me about all the women you've been with? Uh, actually. Mothers and daughters in the same family. Twink. Sisters. Twink. Nuns. Twink. I don't care about your past. I only care about your future. Our future. Bottom line, I'm stuck on you like a bug on a windshield. You're the best, Tony. And I really love you. Twink. I love you, too. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer in sickness and in health, till death do us part. brother and tell him the good news? I tried to, but he wasn't there. Oh, well, that's too bad. He sounds like a pretty nice guy. 
Oh, man, come on. You forgot everything I taught you. Hey, Reggie, it's been a couple years. Whose fault is that? Yeah, I know. I've been meaning to call you guys, but, you know. Yeah, me too. The only time you get to see your old friends is at weddings and funerals. And in Tony's case, kept them both in the same day. <laughs> hey. Hey, Tony. Hey, thanks for meeting me. Yeah, so how'd she take it? Twink? Yeah, Twink. She's very good about it. She's a very strong girl. That's good. She's also the new Mrs. Tony D'Angelo. That's bad. No, that's not bad. As long as you talk to Gina and Carmine, as long as you straightened everything out. You did talk to them, didn't you, Tony? Well, I thought about it. Does that count for anything? So while you were thinking about it, did you think what Carmine was going to do to you when he hears about this? How bad can it be? Hold it. Hold it. Mr. Marino wanted me to tell you he'll be entertaining Tony himself until the wedding. Hope there's no hard feelings. I think all in-laws are like this. Am I getting overtime for this? They don't give overtime for favors, Suzanne. You haven't seen this guy in four years. He drives me nuts. Does this sound like somebody we should be doing favors for? He's a friend, OK? How many times have you guys bailed Tony out of trouble? Too many. He's not that bad, Reggie. Remember the sewer? Or the girls' choir bus to Cleveland? Or the time all right, that, all right. uh... What do you want me to do, leave him at Carmine's? So he marries Gina. That's one way to make the decision. He's already made his decision. He eloped a twink last night. Without telling Gina? Without telling anybody. But we gotta get him out of there before Carmine finds out and cuts off Tony's brand to the D'Angelo family tree. Why? Sounds to me like this guy could use a few lessons in basic human behavior. Is she always like this? Always. What did I do? Women just don't understand that they're the ones who get men in situations like this to begin with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If it weren't for Eve, Adam would have spent eternity in paradise. Right. Cozying up to a sheep. Look, Suzanne, all we need you to do is drive the car, OK? Give me one good reason. Other than death, why well, you guys are helping him. Didn't you ever have someone in your life, someone who never quite grew up, who needed your help? All right. I'll do it for you, Dennis. Just wait for us outside the gate and keep the motor running, all right? OK, Clyde. Right. Sure you want to do this? No. So let's hurry up and get it over with. Wait, wait, wait. Now what? You see that? Electronic security. Here, look. Watch. Powder. See that? How are we gonna get in? Carefully. You ready? Stop. Watch it, watch it. Okay. Thanks. Watch it. Ready? I'm yeah. gonna pull. Okay. There you go. You got it? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Watch this beam. Look at it. See where it is? All right? Yeah. All right. Drop the burgers. Drop the burgers. Carmine, be reasonable. Hey, I've had about enough of this crap, D'Angelo. You're cheating, and I know it. Do I look like the kind yeah. of guy who pull a thing like that on you? Thanks, man. I got you don't a lot have to shoot it, just point it in the right direction. Reputation. I've been watching you real close. 
If I find out you've got another lady. I swear to you, on my grandmother Puccelli's grave, I'm not hiding anything. You better. And I mean, you better be dealing with me straight. Easy. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Hey, what the hell's going on here? I had nothing to do with this. What are you guys doing? We're rescuing you. I'm up three grand. It's a dead hand. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay, everybody in the closet. You too, Carmine. Come on, come on, come on. If he doesn't show for the wedding, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. Do you know what that means? Can't be best man. What are you guys doing? Just come on. You know how long it takes me to make three grand? Got the gate, right? I got it, I got it, I got it. Where's the car? Great plan. What do we do, hop a bus? Where is she? Come on. We got a story for you. Get in. Here comes a car. Yep. Watch this. Smile. Watch this. Watch for the smile. Just watch. Take a lesson from me, all right? Let's right, take like a lesson. Axe murder. Yeah. Great. Great. You're scaring them. Let me try. I'll do it next. I get you every time. Tell me about it. Just when you think you got them in the palm of your hand, boom, they blow your head off with a shotgun. That's why I keep my distance. A little fun, lots of laughs, no commitment. Ugh, commitment's what they're all about. Once they get that, doesn't matter how fat they get, what color their hair is, or how much money they spend, you're stuck. Like glue. So what you're saying is, it's not your fault you asked two women to marry you at the same time. Hey, it's a curse being a guy like me. And what kind of guy is that? I know how to treat a woman. I'm caring, understanding. Strong yet vulnerable, able to tap into my emotions yet keep my macho exterior intact. <laughs> Women just call me sensitive. He's a worm. A little tiny one. I just thought you guys deserved to know the truth. You certainly weren't going to get it from any of the testosterone involved in this situation. To think I almost married him. I did marry him. Honey, I want you to know I don't blame you for any of this. This is clearly a problem only a man could create. They'll say anything to get what they want. Tony thinks he has it made with the both of you. You gave him wild times, and you gave him stability. It's not all I gave him. Wait till my papa finds out. He already knows. And he didn't tell me? He wanted to protect you. Ugh. Men. Women. Can't live with them, can't live with them. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready? Yes. Hi. Oh. Need a lift, boys? Well, the speed limit here is 55. It's too fast for me. I prefer to live my life at a slow but steady pace. It gives me more time to appreciate the places I visit and the people I meet. Hmm. Uh, listen, I want to thank you for picking us up back there. We weren't getting much of a break. Uh, looks like your luck is changing. Not mine. What do you mean? It's a long story. Yeah, but it's a good one. It all started when our bud here got himself engaged to two women. <laughs> Looks like you've gotten yourself in quite a pickle, my friend. Nothing I can't handle. Have you considered divine violence? Guidance? My TV doesn't get that channel. 
Don't be so quick, Tony. You're running out of options. Maybe you're right. You know, I used to go to church all the time when I was a kid. You did? Yeah, I actually had a lot of good times there. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in years. So, is church still a good place to pick up girls or what? Hey, that's a minister's calling. You're a minister, aren't you? Yes, I am. So how come you're not wearing this? Oh, lately it just seems a bit too restrictive. Hey, Tony, maybe the Reverend here really can give you some help. Maybe. Are you married, Reverend? No. You got a family? I have a... I have an aunt. No kidding. She cute? Thanks for the ride. My pleasure. Yeah. Oh, young man? Huh? I have a feeling that the good Lord is going to be putting an end to your troubles very soon. Uh -huh. Probably when you're alone. Thanks. That guy. It's weird. Yeah, I'd say a little weird. Whew. You got that right. Hey, I want to thank you guys for breaking me out of car mines. I mean, it was getting a little touchy there. No sweat. Hey, Tony, you would have done the same for us. Okay. Hey, isn't that your car? Hi, Tony. Gina? Baby. What are you doing here? Hey, look, if it's about Carmen, I had nothing to do with... Hi, Tony. Twink? What are you doing here? Gina. Twink. What's cooking? Honey roasted nuts. This is for you. So's this. I, I was I was gonna explain. I here's your keys. Zena, what did you do? I had a little girl talk. My life is over. How could you do this to me? How could you do that to them? And in case you didn't get the message, neither of them wants to see you again. I can't believe I got myself into this. I can. Thanks. No, Reg is right, Tony. Will you get off my case? I got enough problems right now. I know you do, but I don't think you're smart enough to see what your biggest problem is. Yeah, what's that? It's you, Tony, you. You believe this guy? Yeah, I do. You know, Tony, you were just like this in school. You get into some big mess, you turn your back and walk away. Look, you didn't care who you hurt, just as long as it wasn't you. Who were you, the class president? Hey, man, I have my share of trouble, I know that, but I always owed up to it. Afraid I got a side with Booker on this one. So what do you want me to do about it now? The damage is done. I'm history. Well, Tony, you can always go back and talk to them. They'll kill me if I do that. Tony? Yeah? We'll kill you if you don't. I, uh, thought I owed you an explanation. A little late for that. What'd you think? I never wanted to hurt you, Gina. Things just turned out all wrong. You lied to us, Tony. You play with our hearts like they were toys or something. You know, when I bought that dress, I thought you'd take one look at me and we'd be together forever and that maybe one day our daughter would wear it. Gina. I just want to know. Did you ever really love me? When I first saw you, I thought, 
Well, there's a girl my mother would like. You were smart, you were funny, and beautiful. I loved you so much, I just wanted you to be happy. You gotta believe that. Well, maybe I do, but it doesn't change what you did. I don't think I could marry someone who's hurt me so much. I understand. Tell Carmen I'm sorry about the Archbishop. I will. Bye, Gina. Tony, which one of us did you love the most? If I could answer that, you think I would have gotten myself into this? He wasn't such a pisher. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Does that mean you're gonna leave him alone? I guess Gina get over it. Not so bad yourself, kid. If you ever want to consider a career change, give me a call. I'll keep it in mind. Oh, hey, by the way, this guy came by the house tonight after you left. Big guy. Said he was uh, Twink's brother. I thought I had a temper. The things this guy wanted me to do to Tony. Well, let's just say, I was shocked to hit him from a man of the cloth. He's a priest? Reverend something or other. This guy wouldn't by any chance be driving a burgundy kind of brown sedan, would he? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thanks for the tip. Where would I be without you guys, huh? Dead. That's where you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for the tip on the Reverend. You're welcome. Look, I'll be back on Tuesday with Twink, and hopefully we can have a reception, you know, do it right this time. Hey, go get her. Thanks. Excuse me. I'm in a hurry, Ray. Hello, Mrs. D'Angelo. 59, 60, 61. Come on, Twink, give me a chance. You had your chance and you blew it, 62. But I love you. Oh, I'm glad you finally made up your mind. 63. I've always loved 64, 65. 68, 92, 73. What do you want, Tony? I want you. No. Half of you wants me, the other half wants Gina. I'm not married to Gina. You're not married to me either. I filed for an annulment. Twink, please. Two days ago, I was willing to spend the rest of my life with you. But what you did, I just can't pretend like it never happened. Maybe someday you'll find a girl you can be honest with. Can we talk about this on the plane? You're not going on the plane. I found somebody who could take your shift. Hi, I'm Chuck. Have a good flight. Have a good life, Tony.
powers. Tony, I was wondering if maybe I could have a word with you. Do I have a choice? No. You know, Tony, I practically raised Twink myself. For 22 years, I was like a father to her, a guardian of her morality. Then, one day, about six months ago, Twink decided to move to the big city. And before I knew it, she ends up married to a steward. A steward? Explain this to me. Whatever possessed you to do a thing like this? Were you raised by wolves, Tony? Did you smoke a little too much glue? Huh? Did you have a death wish, Tony? No. But I saw the movie. You are never, ever gonna do that again. You've got my prom. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna make certain of that. Even if God and the Pope and my psychotherapist try to pry my fingers off of your throat! Are you done yet? Well, we were just kind of reaching the crescendo. Weren't we, Tony? Well, I think Tony's gotten the point. In fact, I think the whole airport has gotten the point. Is that right? Well, maybe you're right. You know, Reg and I saw the Reverend pull up after we dropped you off. So what's in the golf bag? Golf clubs. What else? Well, I've got to be going. I have a 10 o'clock tee-off time, and the Archbishop does not like to be kept waiting. Nice meeting you, gentlemen. Could I have my shotgun back now? I could have run from him, you know? I would have tackled you if you did. <laughs> you guys are great. Just don't let it happen again, OK? Hey, don't worry. I've learned my lesson. From now on, women are strictly taboo. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. I mean, I'll, I'll become a hermit, a monk, St. Tony of Assisi. I'll take the day shift. And I'll take the night shift. Thanks. Hey, Tony. What are friends for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs>